The 2022 Silver Jar is so hungry for silver quarters, he's asked me to do a silver quarter hunt. He knows and I know it's tough to find silver quarters. Hopefully in today's quarter hunt, we'll find something silvery and be able to feed him at the end. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We do have another quarter hunt today. This is going to be box 12 on the year. And as many of you know, we struggle with finding silver quarters in my area. We found four in 2020. We found five in 2021. And so far for 2022, we have found two silver quarters in our first 11 boxes. So I'm hoping that this box can give us another silver quarter find to get us on pace to have even a better year this year than the last two. That being said, I fully expect not to have enough finds in this one quarter box hunt. So I'm certain that I'm going to be marrying this hunt to future quarter boxes that I get over the next couple of weeks. Now I went ahead and left this box sealed because I could tell by the holes in the bottom that it is circulated quarters. And as you know, we're going to be looking for silver, of course. But if we can score a variety, a proof, a foreign, or maybe some more W's, which have been tough to find lately, I'll take any of that. Let's go ahead and get into this box right away. See if we happen to have any cool enders on top. That would be a good start. All right, we've cracked the top and I don't see any silver enders, of course. And I actually don't see any 2022 quarters either yet, but we have scored those in the last video. That being said, you guys know the drill. We're gonna kick it off with roll one and see if this box can get us back on the board for our third silver quarter of the year. Well, we're on roll number 10 and we have our first find of the box. It's gonna be a 2020 W because we've got the privy on the left and the W on the right. And it's gonna be a tall grass prairie 2020 W quarter. And I'll make mention we found one 2022 Denver Maya Angelou as well. Let's get back to the hunt for W's, varieties, and silver. We're on rule number 24, and I have found a W quarter that I don't see too often. It's a 2019. I already flipped it around because it was reverse facing, and then I saw the W. 2019, War in the Pacific. We'll take that. It's been a while since I've seen a 2019 W quarter in circulation. Two Ws, nothing else yet. We're roll hunting roll 50 of the box. 50. Had I opened the box the other way, it would have been roll one. And whenever I have a good find in either roll 50 or roll one with nothing in between, I always think about the question of asking you guys, would you rather find something nice in the first roll and then get skunked or get skunked and then find something good in the last roll? I bring that up because I just cracked open a roll number 50 and uh, it waited all the way to the end to give us what looks like a silver quarter. Now, I'm not complaining because I thought we were going to have no silver in this box, even though we've already had two W quarters. That being said, let's pray it's not a Canadian. Let's hope it's just another silver quarter for the year. And it is. Oh, and it's an older one. 1948 Denver. Can't get mad at finding a 48D in circulation. I will definitely take that. Gets us our third silver quarter on the year through 12 boxes, and that makes me happy. Let me finish the roll, and I'll be back with the wrap-up. Well, that's going to do it for this quarter hunt, and you know what? I will take a box like that any day. We got a surprise 1948 90% silver minted in Denver quarter that I'll take in the very last roll. We actually got a couple of W's and I was concerned that we were going to see less of them, but two in a box is good. A 2020 Tallgrass Prairie, Kansas quarter and a War in the Pacific 2019 W quarter. On top of that, I just wanted to mention that I did find two Maya Angelou 2022 Denver quarters. I'll keep one of those because Charlani was saying that she wanted to start collecting the quarter series honoring the women. So I'll pull one of those out for her, the best of the two. That was a good box, but not quite enough finds to make it a video. So when I get my next quarter box this week, I'll marry it to this hunt and we'll continue filling the board if we can. I'll be back with another box in just a moment. We are back and it might've been just a moment for you, but it's been almost a week for me. 
That being said, I'm excited about this quarter hunt because today we've got one of the tall boxes and I haven't seen one of these in a while. I don't remember if I do well or do poorly with these. If I recall, I don't do that well, but because I haven't seen one in so long, I'm excited to get into it. Obviously, I already popped the top of the box, saw that we had circulated quarters, so we're ready to begin this hunt. You know where we left off. Let's continue and see if we can add to the silver finds in 2022. Well, excitement turned into recollection. I now recall that these boxes have been tough for me in the past and looks like even in the future. Still, you got to hunt them if you're going to find them. We didn't find anything in box 13. Maybe it was the number. Maybe it was the box type. Maybe it was just not a good box in general. But either way, we're going to be back when we have another box because I still want to find one more find or two before I close out this video. I'll be back if and when I can get another quarter box to add to the hunt. Well, we've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is I've got another quarter box. The bad news is it's another one of these tall flat boxes. I haven't even cracked the top of it to make sure it was circulated yet because typically when I pick these boxes up, they're always circulated quarters. Let's just go ahead and crack it open though. See if we can get some lucky uh, mojo in this box and uh, see if we have a hunt for sure. All right, yeah, we definitely have an eagle reverse there. So we definitely have a circulated quarter box. Let's go ahead and see if this box, box 14, probably the last box I'm going to do for this video, has at least one more find inside. Roll number two of this third box of the hunt, and we're going to actually have a find. It's a W quarter 2020 because it has the privy, and it's a American Samoa National Park or the back quarter. First of those of the finds, now we have actually two 2020s, a 2019, a silver, and I did find another Maya Angelou 2022 quarter. I already have a few rolls of these, but I will be pulling them aside just to see how many we get for this hunt. Not a bad start. Fingers crossed. There's more finds. Roll number 27 is going to give us a good find here. It's going to be a clad proof quarter. It's going to be a San Francisco minted 2003 Maine State quarter. Can't get mad at that. We'll take a proof, circulate it or not. Always fun to see. Well, that's going to do it for box 14 of the year. But this three-box hunt was not without fines. We did net ourselves three W quarters. We did get that silver way back in the first box. And we did get another proof quarter for the year. And that was found in this box, of course. We also had 18 of the Maya Angelou 2022 Denver quarters. And again, I'll be putting those back. Always cool seeing those. At the end of the day, I wish we would have found more silver, but these tall boxes have been tough lately. We always know they're not going to be uncirculated ones in my area, but they typically don't give up too much goods. This one, however, was better than the average with a W and a proof, and I'll take it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this three-box quarter hunt. We now have three silver quarters on the year through 14 boxes, and that's better than my last two years if we can stay consistent. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. It's not often we get to put a silver quarter in the 2022 silver jar, but he always is happy to see those.